And hello, my brave nice princesses and princesses, and welcome to Mr. Case Files Shadow Lake. This is the ninth Mr. Case Files game, I believe. I and I also believe that this is the last Mr. Case Files game made with real people in the game. I might have to check when we do Fates Carnival, but I believe this is the last one where they used real people. They used real people, real people again in um. Ravenhurst unlocked, or was it key to Ravenhurst? One of the two, or we're in the asylum. But they only used it for one of the daughters. So. Just saying, Epix. You can make Mr. Keys Falls great again by studying the old games. So we're going to play this on casual. Because this still doesn't have the good old settings that Epix usually does. Let's do it. here in the deserted town of Bitterford, Maine, and I need your unique expertise. There's something terribly wrong here. I can feel it. Cassandra Williams. Where have we heard that name before? And Ghost Patrol. We meet, we see Ghost Patrol and, um... We see Ghost Patrol again in, um broken hour but they're more toned down hold on one second do we have subtitles we do but why didn't they show up in the game i don't know okay oh well oh well so mm -hmm. this is our journal this is the hotel where Cassandra wanted to meet me but where is she and unlike um, the other ones we do usually know, this one has no backstory, like what the detective was doing before this, but we know that before this one was escape to Ravenhurst, I believe it was, I think, and this is 1979, so, I mean, it's like, it's like 1980-something by the time we do Broken Hour, which would be cool. So, let's do it. Also, when this first came out, I know I'm talking a lot, but just bear with me. Um, When this first came out, I played the beta. And there is a, there is a scene I'm going to show you that legitimately scared me. Also, this also feels like sort of like a Delaware St. John game. If you guys don't know what that is, you're missing out. Uh, no, we were just leaving, and no, I don't give out autographs, so if you'll excuse me. Has anyone seen my lip balm? You don't know who I am, do you? Jack Talon, host of Ghost Patrol. Rated number three in reality TV ghost hunting shows by the readers of the Paranormal Weekly blog. Come at me, ghosts! Nothing? Ah, you're that detective Cassandra called. No wonder you haven't heard of me. You're obviously too busy solving your little crimes to watch quality television. Well, knock yourself out poking around this crappy town. Ghost Patrol is off duty. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, how nice is that? So already this is turning out very interesting. So yeah, we, we're going to see Ghost Patrol again. Well we saw Ghost Patrol again in Broken Hour. So locked. So Tail Bridgely, so the rest of town is a wash in murky fog. There's also no morphing objects. Well, Norton should navigate type roads quite easily. It's locked. I didn't even know that was there. Or that. Okay. I just randomly get a phone. Okay, we're gonna need a glass cutter to get that open. <laughs> Season 2, episode 201, the mystery of, of Bitter Lake. Start date October 4th, 2012. Okay. Okay, back up. This this does not take place in 1970s. I. It happened in the 1970s, and we're in the we're in the 2000 we're in 2012. Sorry. Extra key to equipment room and safe fans plate letters plus Kelly's birthday plus my apartment number. Did did some location scouring with the power ruined. Under some something prison, both look promising. So a couple buildings downtown did segment on town history and a hunt at night. Collected a few class C EVPs, possibly a class B, but no major hits. Could be amped up during post. Interesting. So lock the door to room one. And what scared me is this TV right here. And you'll see why. Well, 100 years ago. Somebody was taken from their... Somebody was taken from their... Notice the dust. Yawn, pansies, is on no you animal. I don't know how to feel about that vibration thing. Five two five one eight four two. I think this game also involved you running things down. So I'm going to do that. Because I don't think this game... I don't think this game... I'm um, sorry, hit my mic. Um, notes things down like journals used to do. It's Kelly's self. I, okay, let me... Let me put down Kelly's self too. Just in case we give Kelly a call. So this is Joey. This is Kelly. Yeah. There we go. So. This is Penny Clark reporting to you live here from our studios at KHAD. Wait for it. Boy, it looks like real pea soup fog out there today, folks. So be careful out there on those roads. This has also caused huge problems for air traffic. There it is. Oh. All flights have been grounded until further notice. But they 
Oh, okay. I'm okay. So, I didn't bother looking at the license plate number while he was talking. <sighs> Kelly's birthday and my apartment number and fan, fan's plate number. Perfect. The immature, f I'm sure, photograph for fur would be the um, other guy. We got more stuff. Wait. Okay. Yep, the hint is different too. It's terrific. Wait, where the... What the... Photograph. Game, don't remove photographs from my inventory. Uh. What now? I think my watch is broken. Okay, how long did it say? Till six and then eight. So when it lands on six, so it will go to six, then we wait until it lands on eight. I almost got it that time. The game's very first puzzle and I'm already struggling with it. Okay, so two nine eight ABA. So fan van plates letters. So it's ABA Kelly's birthday and the apartment number. So ABA something one. And we just need to find out Kelly's birthday.
I okay. Let's just call her number then. I was trying to call the other number I had. Um... <laughs> so it's October 7th... 2012. So it's it's um it's ABA seven one I believe. Well, we technically have it. I guess we don't. Oh yeah, we have this wire. We can just reach in here and get this. Well, I don't know what else to do, game. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Well, I have one other number game. Well, now we can do it. So it was... ABA71. Right. Right. Hold on, it's ABA, ABA 7. Yep, it's 1. I knew it. I knew that. Oh, nine two seven. So it's A B A seven nine two seven. Fine. Woo! Woo for opening and closing camera. Alright, who's scribbling in here? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Got a camera. You must be the master detective. Thank God you got my message. I didn't know who else to call. And that ghost patrol is more interested in ratings than solving this mystery. I'm Cassandra, by the way. The one who left you the message. 
We have our work cut out for us, so I think we should start right away. Take these drawings I've made, and this two-way radio so we can communicate while you're investigating. I'll give you the directions to the Shadow Lake Penitentiary and explain more as we go on. Good luck, detective. Thanks. So now we can go there. Awesome. Also, we have drawings. This feels familiar. Familiar the fact that we had to use drawings in Escape from Ravenhorst. Oh, okay. I just wondered. I was wondering. Let's just, uh, use the map. Go here. to me through a technique we psychics call auto drawing with their guidance I've made the drawings I gave you representing actual locations in town all you need to do is place each one on the spot where its spiritual imprint is strongest and then bring them all back to me let's start here at the old prison place the first drawing on the matching window and charge it with psychic energy Nice job, detective. Thanks. Sadly, that is the only drawing I recognize. But I'm sure you'll find the rest somewhere in the prison. Okay. Thanks for being dramatic about it. She seems to be very dramatic. So now we have new tasks and notes. I missed the old journal already. recorder is fully charged and the sensitivity is set to high. I'm hiding the key to the prison underneath the stone ball at the base of the entryway steps. Hey, did you guys just hear something? Shh, listen. Nice. Nice. Nice bird. Nice. Thanks for telling me where the key was, dude. Much well, appreciated. This place is overflowing with supernatural power. If you could find these objects infused with the psychic energy of lingering spirits, I may be able to get a clearer picture. Oh, and here's our first in object scene. It's quite a big room. Kind of cool.
about this one? No, this one looks like it has a fan in it. When, when detectives in this game are afraid of the dark, it's hilarious. I'm they keep trying. Not even a fan in here. Uh, that's a pain. Can I pick this with this? Didn't think so. Can I open this with this? Detective, I'm getting a reading from the objects that you have found. There was a prisoner here by the name of Jamie. Jamie Monet. Maybe you can find some more information about him in the records room. Sure, I was just there.
Okay, so I still have to make a um a staircase with something. Don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. <clears throat> Awesome. Sometimes you will need to recreate the scene from the drawing before placing it. Find these missing items and place them on the shelf just the way they appeared in 1973. Okay. Now bring the altered drawings back to me, and I'll do a psychic reading on them. Fair enough. Yes, game, I can fast travel, I get. Welcome back, detective. We're already making headway. Place the drawings on the table here. Yes, 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 okay, fine. Let's see what vision of the town's past these drawings reveal. Yep, this puzzle's fun.
just tip you over. Move you over here if you're like in low gravity. This is gonna get so irritating later. It's like the ring of power. <gasps> the prisoner from the vision escaped while the relic took another under its power. The warden. Poor man. I have a feeling he was dealing with forces much darker than he realized. Take another look at his office. I'm pretty sure what you find there will put us on the right trail. <laughs> I'll contact you when I have more drawings. Good luck, detective. You do that. And with that, we'll be back, guys. Leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.